okay so we'll see how to treat epilepsy uh, as per the nice guidelines 2022 so first we'll start with status epilepticus any convulsive status epilepticus which is uh, more than 5 minutes needs to be resuscitated immediately at the community or the hospital level so at the community level you'll start with benzodiazepine you'll give buccal midazolam or rectal diazepam or if there is iv access then you'll start with iv lorazepam now if this treatment is unsuccessful that means if the convulsions recur after 5 minutes of the earlier uh, episode or 10 minutes after the first dose then you will call uh, the emergency department or seek expert advice now and give second dose of benzodiazepine or lorazepam now despite giving two doses if the convulsions recur after 10 minutes then you will give levetiracetam or phenytoin or strontium valproate whichever is available now you have to consider the fact that levetiracetam has quicker and fewer adverse effect despite this if it's if the treatment is unsuccessful then you will give phenobarbital or general anesthesia after treatment you will make an emergency plan for this patient in case it recurs you will follow this emergency plan for future now while treating status epilepticus you have to be aware of the possible underlying causes of status epilepticus including hypoglycemia eclampsia and alcohol withdrawal which may be needed to treat with additional medication you have to be alert to non adherence to of the anti seizure medication which can also be cause of status epilepticus also there can be non epileptic seizures um, like dissociative seizures can be similar in pre- presentation uh, to this convulsive state epilepticus anti seizure medications which can exacerbate seizures uh, in people with absent seizure myoclonic seizure uh, juvenile myoclonic episodes especially pediatric seizures like dravet syndrome or linux gestalt syndrome so carbamazepine is important which is asked in all exams gabapentin ox carbamazepine phenobarbital phenytoin pregabalin tiagabin vigabatrin lamotrigine in case for myoclonic and uh, lacosamide in for dravet syndrome so i'll just repeat this list carbamazepine gabapentin ox carbamazepine phenobarbital phenytoin pregabalin tiagabin vigabatrin lamotrigine and uh, lacosamide so these are the anti seizure medication which will exacerbate the following seizures theek hai now we'll see how to treat specific adult epilepsies like generalized tonic chloric seizure the first line will be sodium valproate in males and females who are less than 10 years and women who are unable to have children it will be the first line uh in case of other females who are child bearing age or potentially can have children you the first line treatment will be lam- lamotrigine or levetiracetam this will be second line in whom sodium valproate is already been started now if these treatments are unsuccessful you can add on clobazam perempanil and topiramate either of these still if it is unsuccessful then you can add on brevaracetam uh primidone lacosamide zonosamide and phenobarbital now during uh, epilepsy uh, treat anti epileptic treatment nice guidelines always prefer to follow monotherapy so if one drug is not working or the treatment is not very satisfying and you add the other drug you can cannot abruptly stop the other one you have to give the second one in full dose and stop the other one gradually theek hai if this is successful then we'll continue if this is unsuccessful we will stop it gradually and give the next one in full dose so monotherapy is the one which is advised if monotherapy is not uh, uh, successful then always add on some drugs but um, need to be monitor need to monitor sedation in such cases focal seizures with or without evolution 
to bilateral focal seizures with or without evolution to bilateral tonic clonic seizure first line in this case is lamotrigine this is always asked in exam or levetiracetam uh, second line in this case will be carbamazepine oxcarbamazepine and zonisamide third line will be lacosamide here you don't give sodium valproate absence seizure first line is ethosuximide in all cases whether adult or pediatrics second line sodium valproate third line will be lamotrigine or levetiracetam myoclonic seizures if the patient is less than 4 years refer or seek guidance ठीक है रेफर्स टू सम पीडियाट्रिशियन न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट और सी गाइडलाइंस फ्रॉम एक्सपर्ट्स फर्स्ट इन दिस केस अगेन विल बी सोडियम वेलप्रेड दिस द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन एम आर सी पी एग्जामिनेशन इन केस ऑफ वुमेन यू गिव लेवेटरासिटाम ठीक है देन सेकेंड लाइन एज लेवेटरासिटाम थर्ड लाइन इन केस ऑफ माइक्लोनिक सीजर्स इज ब्रिवारासिटाम क्लोबाजाम क्लोनाजपाम लामोट्रिजन फिनो बारबिटाल पेरासिटाम टोपेरामेट एंड जोनसमाइट द थर्ड लाइन्स आर मोस्टली नॉट आस द क्वेश्चन आर ऑन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड लाइन बट जस्ट टू नो वॉट आर द ड्रग्स इन्वॉल्व ना टोनिक अ टोनिक सीजर्स दिस हैज टू बी असेस्ड बाय न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट ट्रीटमेंट इज सेम एज जनरलाइज टोनिक क्लोनिक सीजर बट द थर्ड लाइन इज डिफरेंट इन दिस केस योर यू कैन आई द गिव क्लोबाजाम रूफेनामाइड और टोपेरामाइड If this does not work, then you will add on ketogenic diet. Still, if if this is uh, not working, you will add felbamate. So this line of treatment is slightly different. Sixth, idiopathic generalized episodes, same as treatment is same as uh, generalized tonic clonic seizures, except for the third line here, you will add pirampanil or topiramate. Now you can see topiramate is there in almost all the third line drugs. Okay. Very often asked is child onset, uh, childhood onset epilepsies. So Dravet syndrome, you will give sodium valproate. If this is unsuccessful and the seizures are uncontrolled, then you will add a triple therapy. In this case, you will have uh, steripentol and clobazam with sodium valproate. If the patient is more than two years old and this therapy is unsuccessful. then <coughs> instead of so- sodium valproate you will add cannabidol still if it's unsuccessful you will give ketogenic diet or levetiracetam or topiramate if the seizures are still recurring then you can add potassium bromide for dravet syndrome now Len- lenox gestart syndrome you'll start with sodium valproate then lamotrigin more than 2 years clobazam plus cannabidol rufenamide topiramide can be given if this is not uh, fulfilling then you can give ketogenic diet and then give fel- felbamate infantile spasm syndrome in this case you have to revert to a pediatrician and uh, after 2 weeks you have to get and sleep eeg and you have to review the patient every week uh, when starting the treatment In this case, you will start with high dose prednisolone and vigabatrin. Now, this high dose prednisolone is omitted in case patient is start in case of tuberous sclerosis. Okay, when da- when starting high dose prednisolone in children, you will check the varicella zoster antibody. You will monitor the blood pressure and monitor the urine glucose weekly. If this does not suffice then you will give ketogenic diet to st- uh, such patient then levetiracetam mitrazepam sodium valproate or so- topiramate can be tried self epilepsy limited with uh, centrotemporal spikes in this case this is very rarely asked hardly asked but still lamotrigine or levetiracetam then you can give carbamazepine oxcarbamazepine zonisamide and this is a new drug called saltiam myoclonic atonic seizure also known as do syndrome here you will start with levetiracetam or sodium valproate if this does not work then ketogenic diet then clobazam ethosuximide topiramide zonisamide 
now non pharmacological treatment ketogenic diet can be used in case of mainly infantile uh, seizures so glut 1 deficiency syndrome pyruvate dehydration deficiency infantile spasm do syndrome also known as myoclonic ertonic syndrome dravet syndrome lennox gestalt syndrome drug resistant epilepsy resective uh, epilepsy surgery uh, should be done uh, can be done in mri abnormal uh, has to be done sorry has to be done in mri abnormalities with drug resistant epilepsy so you have to refer this patient for reactive epilepsy surgery and discuss with the parents especially in cases like tuberous sclerosis and sturge weber syndrome and there are many other syndromes vagus nerve stimulation can be tried in such patient who are not willing for surgery or not doing surgery now the most important drugs out of all these are uh, for infantile spasm and tuberous sclerosis so in this case you will start with vegabetron if it does not work then you will add high dose prednisolone for tuberous sclerosis and then go on to a uh, ketogenic diet uh, lenox just or you will start with sodium valproate important ones tonic or tonic seizure you will uh, and idiopathic generalized episodes myoclonic seizures and generally uh, all these have treatment lines similar to gtcs important very important are absence seizures first line is ethoxyzide this is a change uh, both in adults and pediatrics this is a drug of choice and the first line focal seizure you don't add sodium valproate in any case first is lamotrigine or levetiracetam carbamazepine oxcarbamazepine zonisamide and locosamide so that's it i will leave you with this slide